Who would have thought Hydro Crisis can be in the same deck as Goblin Chain Roller? Well, that's the deck I'm playing today, guys. Jake Viper here of MTG Rocks. And today I'm about to play Crisis and Red Friends. It's a deck developed by World Champion and one of the top ranked players in the world, William Yui Jensen. I called it Crisis and Red Friends because it's mostly a red deck, but with four times Hydro Crisis. Which is weird because you don't normally see this creature in a mono red deck because of its blue green mana requirement. But this card proves to be great. You can gain life, draw extra cards while providing a flying body that could block a lot of blue, mono blue creatures or opposing rekindling phoenixes. Um, and you got the mana base to support it. You got steam vent, sulfur falls, rebound crags, stomping ground that provide uh, blue and green for hydro crisis while also providing red for a ch triple red chain whirler. Um, deck runs a couple of colorless cards. Treasure map of course helps you scry um, and draw extra cards. And it also help, helps you ramp up for Banefire or Scarring Hellkite with its treasure tokens once it flips. And the treasure map, uh, the treasure tokens can also help you make big construct tokens with Karn's minus two ability. Karn is also good at drawing extra cards with, with its plus one or minus one. Uh, Scargun Hellkite is kind of like the new Glory Bringer because of its five mana cost. Um, and Riot helps you, gives you the versatility to either get a 5 5 body or haste um, when you need it. Like if you need to attack for the win before he gets a removal spell. Um, and it's got a good ability, the pinks creatures are pinks to the face. And the best creature here is Rekindling Phoenix. It's a great defensive card and offensive card. Uh, it's hard to get rid of. You'll need to exile it or use two removal spells to kill it. Uh, Chain Roller is good. It's a good mid-range card. Uh, Shock and Level Coil can help you get rid of early creatures. Uh, Level Coil is great against afterlife cards. Uh, Rekindling Phoenixes. Uh, Bane Fire can act as a removal, but it also acts as a late game finisher. finisher. Especially if you have a lot of treasure uh, tokens, you can do a big bane fire. Definitely Daredevil, great card against aggressive decks, as it provides a 2-1 first strike body, and you can use the removal spells to uh, kill the creatures when it, with its ability. And deck runs one arch of Araska. Uh, and you can easily get ascend because you can get a lot of permanents with the treasure uh, with treasure map. Alright, so let's play this deck. The deck looks janky when I first saw it, but hopefully it works. Playing against soft and wet. Hmm. What did that mean? Alright. Got shot, Dire Fleet, Lava Coil, Chain Weather, Phoenix, couple of lands. I think it's not a bad hand, so we'll keep it. So we're gonna play Steam Vents. Um, we could play it, maybe untap. Maybe we need to shock. No, we'll play it tap. Impulse, okay. Oof, what is this deck? Maybe Teamer mid range? Okay, so uh, I think I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna play Daredevil yet because I'd rather <laughs> be able to use the ability. Maybe we can impulse later. So we're gonna sk skip. Okay, Incubation Druid. We can shock that. I'm glad I, I waited. That way I have enough. That way I had mana to shock it at the end of its turn. So I'll get shock that. Before I can get bigger, uh, we can chain whirler now, but I think I'd rather do this. That way I can impulse. Great, perfect. Now I can use this to try to dig for a creature or a land. I'm glad I did that, or else I would have drawn three straight land cards. I don't want to get flooded. Ooh, impulse. Okay, maybe we can get another Dire Fleet so we can impulse again. 
So next turn we, oh, another impulse. What is, oh cool, no. He's got Phoenix, but I think, oh, we got a Hydra Crisis. This is gonna be fun. Uh, so we'll swing first. Then we'll play our Phoenix. We get to play our Phoenix before he plays his Phoenix. Great thing though is we have Lava Coil, which um, can get rid of his Phoenix because it exiles it. So we have the advantage here. Just slight advantage. Or we can, yeah, we'll just go Lava Coil. Yes! Swing for six. Then we can play our Chain Whirler. It crazes. This is so. This deck is so spicy. See, the that's why I call it Crazy Red Friends. Crazes made some red friends. Hopefully we get a land so we can go Crisis for 4, drawing us 2 extra cards. What is this? I've never seen this in standard before. I forgot what it does. Can't be blocked by more than one creature. It does combat damage to a player, destroy target or artifact or enchantment. We don't have artifact or enchantment. It's a good blocker though, So, but he can't block our Phoenix. So we'll go ahead. Uh, nope, not all. Just the Phoenix one. Then we'll play a Chain Whirler just in case he attacks the 5-5, we can block with both. Since they're both first strike, that would kill it first. Oh, I forgot, we got another first striker here. Oh, there goes another Phoenix. Great. Oh no, Battle of the Midrange. Well, that helps. Okay, so he got a Phoenix, we don't really want to attack yet. So we can create this for four, drawing us two extra cards. No attacks. Oh no, Prime Speaker Vanifar. What does this do? Oh, this is. Is this the. Wow, that's the pod. The creature pod. Okay, so we want to create this for three, uh, six later. Um, what does he have? I guess we can impulse. Hmm. I'll go impulse first with Darfleet. Get us a creature, another crease is great. We can crease this for six next turn. But for now, we're gonna end our turn. He might use this ability though, it's scary. I don't know what, what other creatures he has in his deck that we haven't seen yet. Okay, what are you gonna get? So this will let him search for a cost that costs one more than Incubation, so cost three. So it could be a chain whirler. I don't know. What? Another Phoenix. Okay. Alright, we'll go ahead, crease this for six. Is that right? Two, four, six, eight. So we can crease this for six. So crease this for six. Ooh, bean fire. We can bean fire for a lot of that. We can bean fire for the win here. Uh, no attacks. This is great. This is why this deck needs Banefire in, in situations like these. When you can't get through with combat, so you just finished off with Banefire. We can Banefire for 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We can Banefire for 8, so that's enough. Oh no, what is this? Destroy, target. Oh, ouch. That's scary. Okay, we'll just bane fire for the win here. Wait, one, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can bane fire for eight. Five, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Make sure we target the right target. Okay, bane fire for six. Bam! Wow, Jensen made made a great deck. It's a unique deck. I'm not sure how it go how will, how it will go against control though. So. We'll have to see if we 
how it goes against control if we play against control. Alright, so we won our first match. Let's play another match. Creases and Red Friends. Wow. Creases is so good in the red shell. And that Bane Fire. Ooh. Great, great. Let's go. Dr. Guacamole. This person must love gu guacamole. Alright, so Dark Fleet, Krasis. We don't have the blue for the Krasis. Hopefully we can dig with that with Treasure Map. Uh, got a Rekindling Phoenix here. Uh, I think we'll keep this anyway. Maybe turn 2 Treasure Map is better than turn 2 Dark Fleet. Maybe we're playing against Mono Red. Maybe it's better to play a turn 2 Dark Fleet. Okay, we're gonna play this top. Oh, we got the blue for Krasis later on. Great. <laughs> oh, Rakdos? Ooh. Maybe this is a, some kind of burn, a burn deck? Burn. That's scary. Uh, treasure map, of course. So we may want to scry at our upkeep so we can draw the card we want. Oh no, he's draining us life. We need to play our crazes ASAP. Let's go treasure map. Mm, do we know? We have enough lands. We'll put that in the bottom. Draw a card. Oh, man, we need to gain that extra life. So we'll need to... The Dark Fleet next turn, then use that card to gain life, because we really need to gain life. Uh, go main phase. So we're not gonna we're not gonna treasure map with cry because we need to use Dark Fleet to gain some life. Because look, I feel have a feeling this is deck we're playing against a straight burn deck, straight direct damage kind of deck. Uh, so we're gonna go play our Dark Fleet here, so we can play this card. We'll use their own weapon against them. Sovereign Bite. We're gonna use Sovereign Bite for sure. What is this? He's shocking a creature, okay. Go ahead, Sovereign Bite you. We need to gain that life. Sweet. So we're probably gonna treasure map again. Oh yeah, treasure map also, uh, it, once it flips and we get the extra treasure tokens, we can use the treasure tokens to get more mana so we can do a bigger Hydra Crisis and show more cards, which is great. So we're gonna go scry this. Uh, do we really need an Orozga? Mm, no. Draw a card. Main phase. Play our Phoenix. We'll play our Phoenix. Hopefully, he doesn't have Ross Contempt. He might have a lot of removal spells, though. Maybe he'll burn it twice. So, we're playing against a weird deck Red Black. So, uh, we, a unique red black deck, a weird red. Okay, he, he quits. Maybe it's he's missing a color. I don't know. Well, that's our second match. Let's play another one. So that's our second win. Let's play our third match. So far, this deck's pretty fun. Uh, I, I, re I really like I really like being able to play hide at crisis despite. The red shell, you know? That's w one of the best cards printed in Ravnica Legions for sure. Very versatile card. Oh my gosh, five lands, treasure map, and a lava coil. Could be better, could be worse, but I'm gonna try to mulligan this. Mm, it's not great, but we'll keep it. Put that in the bottom. Play our summoning round. Play against Dakobar. Uh, 
Moral to genius. I wonder what he's playing. Put that tap. Hopefully we're playing against some kind of mid-range deck. That way I can make use of these lava coils. These lava coils are useless against control, but... Great against decks like these! Well, I don't think we're gonna use lava coils. Oh no, this is pretty unique. He's using Karn. I don't usually see that in Soul Tide builds. Okay, 3-2. Mm-hmm. I'll play a Chain Roller. Could act as a blocker. He'll have to get rid of that. He'll probably use Cast Down to get rid of it. Okay. Jade Light Ranger. A uh, bunch of Explore cards. Is this Soul Tie or just straight Gruel? Does he have any sorcery against it? No. It's probably good to lava coil a jade light. And swing. Want to be aggressive before he can be aggressive. So he's got more cards in hand, which is a bad sign. Oh no, that's a bad sign. He's gonna be aggressive on us now. Okay, we got Karn. Hmm. I guess we can Lava Coil another creature. Uh, probably be forced to use a Bane Fire here to get rid of... Slow down the aggressiveness. He might have fine finality though. Oh, he got memorial. He can just bring back a creature. Great. Hopefully he plays a sorcery instant. That way he can use Darfleet. Okay. Come on. Ooh, this is straight up Golgari then. Okay, he's gonna bring back something. Karn, okay. Looks like this deck is Having issues against this kind of Golgari deck. Okay, let's go draw, get some extra cards. Oh, he gave a shock. That's surprising. He's probably gonna attack Karn here. Or attack us. I don't know. I'll play Contempt. Oh no. Then he'll swing for five. Oh, we can. Too bad we can't Dark Fleet. Okay. So we can... What does he have? Oh no. We can shock one creature and play treasure map. We'll play treasure map first. Shock one creature to be able... Then we can activate... Mm. Yeah, I'll do that. We might lose this match. That's okay. We got unlucky. Okay, swinging. We gotta shock one of them. Take five. Ouch. Sure. Get some extra cards. You can have the swamp. <coughs> oh no, it's bringing back. It's a great thing about Golgari uh, or Soltai. Uh, even if you get rid of their creatures, you can easily bring them back. Treasure map, okay. Not what we need. Looks like it may be too late. Let's see what we what can we do? What we can get a con no we can't get we don't have enough mana for that. Well we will be have we'll have to use our lava coil here.
and play our Dire Fleet. And we can't use it now. <laughs> okay. So we'll end our turn. So we have an amount of treasure map. Probably we want our treasure map at um, on our upkeep. What's he getting? Oh, that. It's gonna be hard to get back from this. What? Sure. Oh my gosh, so many creatures. He probably got us next turn. The bad thing about this deck, I realize, is that it doesn't really have any mass removal spells. I wish there's a good, like, Anger of the Gods kind of card in standard. Definitely Clarence needs white, so we can't really add that. Uh, the one that's um, Fury Canada, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, maybe it's a good sideboard with this deck if we're playing best of three. Okay. At least you got a first striker. A uh, dire fleet. We don't really need a dire fleet. Got a shock. Okay. Do we do we want that on top though? Hmm. Yeah, it's a, might be a good creature removal, so we'll keep it on top. Then we get to some tokens. Then we'll play Karn and do get a construct token. Oops. Then we can shock and uh, sacrifice a treasure token to shock one of their creatures. But for now, let's be defensive. You can still get rid of the token. Probably got this already. There goes the Chupacabra. Can he win? Okay, sack. And I shock. Okay, I think I can survive this turn. Just this turn. Get rid of that because we don't want him to bring back the Jade Light yet. Block that. At least this is a first striker. We survived this turn. We're down to one though. Uh, he still got so much card advantage. It's, it's insane. It would be a miracle for us to get back. Okay, more creatures. Great. And Karn is still healthy. Oh wow, great. So versatile. Yeah, this deck needs like a mass removal spell. But th that's the disadvantage of these types of decks. Okay. What do we have exiled? Another Karn, it's not gonna work. Um, we can make a construct token. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to block all those, so I think we're gonna quit this. Let's see, if we go make a token, then draw an extra card. Yeah, it's hopeless, I think. Yeah, it is hopeless. So we're gonna quit this. So that's our first loss, what is? Krasis and Red Friends. Our, our Krasis did show up for his friends. Really sad. Really sad. Alright, we'll play maybe a couple more matches with Krasis and Red Friends. Okay, we're playing against Quit, Quit Peepin. Okay. Sulfur Fall, Steam Vents, Banefire, Chain Roller. Looks like a slow start, but we'll try it. 
Hopefully we don't miss any land drops. Maybe Esper? Okay, good. We got a th we're, we're guaranteed a third land drop. Okay, we're playing against Esper, it looks like. Treasure map. What? I did not expect a spell pierce. I wish I can flash a Dark Fleet Daredevil, that way I can like use Spell Pierce, but... Okay, he might have Cast Down to kill that, so... It's probably not a bit... Looks like he's mana screwed though, so, which is good sign, good for us. Okay, n never mind. He's got enough mana for Absorb now. So we'll swing... F we need our fort land so badly. Looks like we're mana screwed now. Okay, he's down to 12. As long as we bring him down to 5, and as long as we have, we can main fire for 5, we're, we're good. But hopefully he doesn't, you know, get rid of our bane fire by making us discard it. He got a fort land, no. He's waiting, he's waiting. He's waiting for us to play something that he can counter. Okay. Okay. No Fort Land. This is not good. Hmm. Kai's Wrath, really? For a Chain Roller? I guess. Unless we can resolve something. If we get a Fort Land. Shoot. This is terrible. We'll go ahead and play that. Yeah, not like I can use any of those. Okay, so we're done. Probably shock him in the face. You can play Teferi. There you go, Teferi is in the house. Let's shock him. Just focus on his life. I don't really care if he reaches. Um, okay, this is this is terrible, guys. Uh, we're so screwed. Can't even play any of them. I guess I can bane fire for two. Just because I can. Or maybe I want to save it. Yeah, I want to save it. Just in, just in case I need to be in fire double. Keep up the pace. It's terrible. I need to get my fourth land. But I'm not sure if you want to play cards because he could just absorb. Oh, Kai's Wrath for one creature. This person, okay, at least we got our fourth land. This I know he's got absorb, I know he has it. Go ahead, absorb that and gain your three freaking life. Yep, sure. You got lucky, and I got unlucky. But that's magic. You know, you get you don't you get mana screwed, you get mana flooded. It happens. Luck is part of magic. Okay. So we can play Karn or we can play Treasure Map. Uh think uh, he probably has another absorb. I'll let him counter treasure map. He's gonna ultimate soon. It's not good.
If he ultimates, we'll quit this. Okay. Yep. Control got it stabilized. Okay. See, what is he at? Eight now? He's gonna. We can bane fire, bane fire, but I need bane fire to be five. So that it won't be able to counter, uh, it won't be countered. Uh, looks like he'll be able to counter a being five for four. So, uh, wish it's four instead of five. You know, we'll try a Scargan Hellkite. Give it haste. Okay, there he goes. I'm gonna quit this. He's got it. I just didn't get the fourth land in time. It's terrible. So, two wins, two losses. Let's play our last match. It's a fun deck, but... Just like any other deck, if you get mana screwed, it sucks. Maybe I should have mulliganed that, but it was a risk. Alright, we're playing against MTZ. Hmm. Karn, Phoenix, sure, we'll try it. Looks like we're playing against uh, an aggressive white deck. Okay, let's go. Okay, Celestia. Ooh, this is unique. Maybe Celestia aggro. Enrage. Oh, wow. Maybe it's worth killing that? Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay, we'll play this one as a first striker. Builder defense. We're not gonna wait for him to have a sorcery instant. Locks it in, maybe? Ooh, he skipped his turn. Surprising. Okay, so he might have that enchantment that exiles Phoenix. So I'll, I'm gonna play Karn first just to be safe and just to give us some extra card advantage. Hmm, now we can Dark Fleet for Revitalize. <laughs> okay, so we will plus here. Sure, pick. A rootbound crag or a stomping ground? Sure, the shockland. No, sh we'll be defensive. Come on, what are you waiting for? Ooh, Knight of Autumn. What are you gonna do? Probably have to use our Lava Coil here. Just so he won't be able to flip this. Because he got three creatures now. Oh, we might be able to use Shock now. Okay. 
yeah, we'll use the lava coil. Get rid of that. Plus one. Hopefully we get a chain roller. Okay, shock. It's good against them because we can just shock the creatures. Play this tapped. And we can still play our two shocks. So this is going good for us. So it looks like this deck is better against aggro decks compared to mid-range. Uh, we lost against mid-range earlier and we lost against control. Um, but I think it has a fair chance against... I think it has a fair chance against um, control if we, if we didn't get mana screwed. Okay. So he played Trastani, which makes his creatures bigger. And he's got more creatures. Okay. Hmm, do we want to shock one of the creatures though? Yeah, it's probably safe to shock one of them. Oh, we got Chain Whirler. Great, great, great. What artifact? Okay, so... What do we have in Exile? Hmm. We get a Burn Spell. Pain Fire or Treasure Map, really. Okay, so we will cast... Cast a chain roller. Chain roller treasure map probably. We want to be able to play treasure map as soon as possible that we can make start making construct tokens. And once we have the treasures, we can make, have a, uh, some big treasure, uh, some big construct tokens with Karn's ability. Um, no, no attack for now. So we still pretty have high life totals. But he might start making big creatures soon. Just scary. Oh no. Okay, he didn't attack. So we're gonna scry before we draw. Scargon Hell Kite. Okay, do we need that? Do we do we? Nope. I think we need that more. Main face. What do we have exiled? I forgot what we have exiled. Bean fire and a rekindling phoenix. Okay. Ooh, we can get a crisis later on. Hmm. Player Phoenix. What's up with these revitalized cards? I'm getting him so much life. This is an epic matchup though, it's pretty close. Not it's not gonna end soon. Okay, so at least we got a Krasis that we can get with minus Oh no, Watley. What does this do again? Put a loyalty counter. Oh no. Target creature. We need to get rid of Trostani and Watley ASAP.
Hmm. We can bane fire for four. No. Yeah. Okay. So I think the right strategy, right, the right move here is to attack Huatli with rekindling Phoenix, then bane fire for four. We can get bane fire with Karn's minus ability. Yeah, that's gonna be. Or we can Skargan haste. Oh, we can do that. Yeah. I think that is better move. I don't know what he has in his hand though. Yep, we'll do that. This is why Riot is so good because it's versatile. You can have a bigger body or a haste creature when you need it. So we're gonna give this haste so we can attack Huatli right away. Hopefully he doesn't have like seal away or I'm about to, I was about to say pet to excel but it's not standard legal okay oh no please don't have seal away it would suck if he has seal away Really suck for us if he has seal away. <laughs> what? Okay, that's scary. That's scary. That's really scary. Okay, what can we do? We can get uh Traces. Or we can make a token. You know what? Let's make a token. Is he gonna attack Karn? At least we can get rid of some creatures with these first strikers. Is he attacking me? Not Karn? Wait, no, 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 that's not. I think that's the right blocks. No, no. I wait, wait, wait. I think. Um, and chain roller block the three three. Let's see how that works. Ouch, we're down to seven. And he's got a bunch of life. But we got, I think we got, oh no. Oh my gosh. Wow. I think we'll put that on top. Continue to make some tokens. I'm gonna go Dark Fleet and use um, <laughs> Revitalize here. Great, great, great. Crisis is great. So he's got six of these, seven, eight, nine, three, six. Hmm. So 
So if we sack two treasure tokens, we'll only have three artifacts, which is fine. I think we need the uh, life total more. Then we can craze this for a big one later on. Wow, this is an epic match. Okay, so one, six, seven, eight, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. We're not gonna attack. Oh man, this is go. This is hard. I guess we can start using Skargan Hellkite's ability. Oh. Hmm. Let's see. We can get rid we have to get rid of Tristani. Then we can Chain Roller. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, we need to tap the right mana though. Um, two, three, four, one, two, five. Okay, so we can be in fire for four to kill the Tristani. Then go for the chain whirler. Ooh, sweet. Yes. <laughs> Woo. We got lucky. We got lucky. We got unlucky last match, but we got lucky this time. Well, we got, we went three two. Not bad. Not bad. But you know, it's a fun deck. So thanks for um, building a great deck, William uh, Huey Jensen. Uh, and thanks for watching, guys. Um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And check out the two other um, videos that we recorded earlier this week. Uh, Mardu, Midrange, and um, what's the other one? Oh, yeah, Team of Reclamation. So, yeah, if you like um, red decks with a special kind of spice, which is Hydrocrasis, Build this deck. Check out the deck list below um, and check out our next videos. Thanks for watching, guys.